Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show for Sunday, January 21st, or 22nd, whatever it is today, 2023. Welcome to an exploration video. Behind me, you're going to see what is known as the Haynes Avenue Viaduct in Newark, New Jersey. We're going to explore this viaduct in detail right now. It is old and it's original, and I think you're going to enjoy what you see. Also, please keep in mind, it's still cloudy with rain expected later today. Let's get started now. All right, let's get started. The area that I'm standing on now, as well as the area behind me, was just reconstructed recently, and that's the stub from the Haynes Avenue viaduct that leads to Route 1 and 9. We are now going to go completely across the Haynes Avenue viaduct, both sides, both in the street and both on the walkway, and also underneath, so you can get a good look. This was constructed in 1930, as you can see on the plaque, and is for the most part original. This section of sidewalk, as you can see, was reconstructed. It must have been in very poor shape. The railing is original, as is the concrete under it. The concrete on the right, the darker concrete, is original, where the lighter concrete is not. This light pole is not original. But I believe that one is. That one's on the other side. And we'll look at that one a little bit closer on the way back. We're proceeding up now, and the graffiti guys did a real number on this bridge. Remember, we're talking Newark here. This is the base of a light pole, which was long knocked over and never replaced. Now, you can see how the walkway was designed here. Separate from the vehicle traffic. And there's something about this that does concern me. That's an expansion joint, and all the expansion joints on this bridge are in terrible condition, as you will see. That's original railing, original, separating the walkway from the roadway itself. As I walk over, I'm going to first start on the roadway. Then on the way back, we'll do the walkway. There's another expansion joint that's seen better days. The potholes here have been here for literally months. They do not believe in fixing this bridge. This is mainly an industrial area, a commercial area. Another expansion joint in terrible condition. Graffiti guys. They don't pick up any debris, by the way. Here, these plates are actually loose. And I will show you in a future frame where one has actually come out. That's looking back the way we just came. There's another expansion joint. Notice it doesn't have the plate. That rusty metal plate. Because there, there it is. It totally came out. And it's just on the side of the road being run over. Continuing on. Another bad expansion joint. Look at these potholes. They don't believe in fixing them. And these things are pretty deep. You can see this one down to the rebar. Same with that one. That's a different one. And you're probably wondering when this road was last repaved, this viaduct. It was repaved in 2008, which is actually a pretty long time when you think about it, because New York City usually does their highways every five or six years. I believe that's original. Another mess of an expansion joint. And yet another. Here, a trucker lost his tire. This is a truck route. Now we're coming off the viaduct. Now we're looking back the way we came, and this is the walkway. Now, what concerns me about this walkway, you probably can't tell looking at the picture, this wall on the right here is quite high. It's approximately six feet high. 
So if you're walking here and something bad happens, no one's going to know about it. And I think you know where I'm going with this, my friends. These holes were in the walkway. I'm not sure if it's just breaking through or if those were man-made. Graffiti guys. These concrete chunks are literally falling off the walls. As you can see, that one came from right here. You'll see a bunch more of them. These brackets are lined up along, you can see them if you look real close, here, here, here. There are brackets lined up all along this walkway. I don't know what was there originally. This is looking down from the walkway just to a parking lot. And this is a very interesting structure right here. We'll come back to that shortly. The sidewalk's in pretty poor condition over here. There's the structure I mentioned, because now we're on the opposite side. This is original. However, it is in use. This is currently in use. It's a business. If this place was abandoned, trust me, we'd be heading in there right now. As you can see, it's an operating business, but it's closed today because it's Sunday. This is the poll I showed you when we first started the video. I do believe this one's original. That would be the base. Again, I can't prove that it's original, but I think it is because it's a lot older than that other one I showed you. Now we're going to walk across again. As you can see, this side is not much better. Concrete is broken, and in some cases you can see right through. This side has potholes too but not quite as bad as the other side. Here, somebody took the dumping his old tires off, which is a common trick because they're expensive to get rid of. The rail yards are underneath this bridge, and that's basically what this viaduct spans is the rail yards. Now we're gonna go down these stairs and we're going to go underneath the viaduct going down and I imagine back in the 1930s when this was built I imagine a lot of people actually use these stairs to get from Haynes Avenue across to Route 1 and 9. That's where we just came from. A lot of debris. And if you think that's bad, wait till you see what's coming up. Get off there. No. Okay. Now, this is a roadway underneath and parallel to the viaduct. That's where we're going. We're going to go underneath. Debris underneath the stairs. You can see up here, deterioration. Now, I wouldn't say it's super serious, but it's something that needs to be checked. There's a better look at it. You can see it's coming apart right here. Graffiti guys going underneath now. More debris with a dump crap under here. Yeah, see that? All rotted away. Somebody just took the dumping asphalt. That's where we just came from. That's the bridge, or viaduct, should I say. Quite an engineering feat that this was built in 1930. All these white spots are where chunks of concrete have fallen off. The rail yards are fenced off. They don't want people crossing the tracks because those trains go flying by. Two of them flew by while I was shooting these pictures. As you can see, people are bringing dump trucks in and just backing up and dumping stuff. And that's where we just came from. See, recognize that. We're going to head back out now. And we're going to go back across on this side, on the walkway. I had to take a picture of this 
because somebody took a lot of time and trouble. I don't usually give the graffiti guys too much airtime, but I had to say this one was quite interesting. These chunks right here, two more of them, came off the railing of the bridge. Right there, look, bang and bang. And guys, that is basically all I have to tell you right now regarding the Haynes Avenue Viaduct. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this 1930s architecture or questions, please put them in the comment section. Also, keep in mind that this type of video is a lot of work for me to make. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a couple more planned out for February. As long as it stays dry, I'll be able to crank a few more out. Even if it's cloudy, I don't mind. But as long as it's not raining or snowing. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it has been cloudy since last year. And they're saying more rain later today, tomorrow, Wednesday. It's just been awful. Guys, I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thank you for watching this video. Rock on and peace!